Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today I'd like to show you how well the AMD FX4300 Vishera CPU actually performs when overclocked. At stock this processor is clocked at 3.8 GHz, but I took it a whole GHz further. So I'm talking a 4.8 GHz, and that's nothing extreme actually. You could call that a wise overclock. When you're overclocking, you want to make sure the voltage isn't set too high and always keep an eye out for the temperature on full load. This AMD FX4300 processor was very very easy and fast to overclock. As you can see here in CPU-C, I left cool and quiet enabled in the BIOS. That way the processor doesn't consume as much power on idle and that's done by lowering the clock speed automatically. On full load the frequency of course goes all the way up to 4.8 GHz. The FX4300 has a fully unlocked multiplier and that's all I did basically to overclock the CPU. Just increase the multiplier and then the voltage. Most of the time on 100% load the core voltage is at 1.464 volts. However at max I sometimes reach up to 1.476 volts. As for the motherboard, I'm using the Asus Sabertooth 990FX R2.0 board with the latest BIOS version at the time of this video. For the memory, I got 8GB of DDR3, 1866MHz RAM installed. Before we move on to the benchmark results, I'd like to apologize for not including the stock versus overclocked comparisons in lots of game charts. I simply ran out of time. I'm sorry. Here are the benchmarks. There you go. As you saw yourself, you get a decent boost in performance when the chip is overclocked compared to the stock results. In lots of tests, the overclocked FX4300 beats the Intel Core i3-3220. The FX processor can be overclocked while the i3 has a locked multiplier and therefore overclocking would be difficult. However, when it comes to the memory bandwidth, latency, Pi calculations and so on, overclocking this chip still doesn't make it better compared to the competition in these aspects. The performance in gaming is very good, although the i7 beats everything, but these are just some FPS you wouldn't really notice. But besides performance, temperatures are very interesting as well. As you saw yourself, these were ultra low. That's pretty much a dream. With the Cooler Master V6 GT aftermarket CPU cooler, I only reached up to 36 degrees Celsius on full load. That's insane in a good way. Unfortunately, the power consumption always seems to be the only real problem when it comes to these FX processors. 
when overclocked to 4.8 GHz, this CPU consumes roughly 16% more power than on stock speeds. In another way, the 4.8 GHz overclock draws 116% more power than the Intel Core i3-3220, which of course offers lower performance, but not by much actually. Now, if it's worth it to go with an overclocked FX 4300 over an i3 in terms of power consumption is your choice. All I can say is, you get roughly 20% more performance when overclocking this CPU. The power consumption, however, only goes up like 16%. So AMD's Vichera processors definitely are more efficient than the previous Bulldozer FX processors. In the end, it's really your choice, but I really hope my video could help you with that choice. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit Nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.